Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to part two of the 10 tips your medical school interview. If you haven't seen part one, make sure to check that out. Put the link in the description or it's in your suggested videos. Um, this video is gonna have tips seven to 10. Make sure to listen, take notes and apply them. Um, don't forget to look at the description or in the comments. I'm gonna include links to resources that you can use to prepare for your interview. If you have an interview, good luck, do your best. Don't be fearful. You have made it this far. You have everything you need to succeed. Um, message me on Instagram. Shoot me a DM. Ask any questions. If I have time, I will get back to you as soon as I can. I want to help everybody uh, because I know how it feels to be in your shoes. All right. So do your best. Prepare and um, take it easy and then be confident in your interview and then relax after it. Don't stress yourself out. All right, guys, love you and enjoy the video. Tip number seven. This is foundational. This is important for life. You want to develop your communication skills. Some people are excellent communicators. They can tell stories and jokes without even thinking about it. Other people like myself sometimes <laughs> struggle with communication. Um, I'm not the best storyteller. I can't tell jokes very well. Sometimes I stumble on my words. And it's really important for you to be self-aware of that and for you to practice your conversational skills. How can you do that? Take advantage of the strangers that you come across. When I was preparing for my interview, which was on March 6th, during the month of February, I was going on vacation with my parents and I was sitting, for example, this one trip we were going to California, I was sitting beside this dude and I just started talking to him. I was reading the book, doing it right, preparing for my ethics questions and I decided, you know what, I feel uncomfortable right now, but I'm going to push myself to talk to this guy and learn about who he is just to practice. And so I look at him and I spark up a conversation. And I still remember to this day that he works for, for a tech startup company um, and he had to fly to San Francisco because that's where the headquarters was. Um, and that's all I really know. I forget his name, might have been Mike. And But it was really cool because I got to step into discomfort. I got to know this one person, learned about what he does. He learned about me and we both benefited from that conversation. And these experiences get you used to discomfort and starting conversations with strangers and maintaining conversation because that is what an interview really is. You're going to be talking with strangers and they're gonna ask you questions that you're not prepared for. Uh, you have an idea of what they're gonna ask you but when you get there, you'll realize that it's gonna be challenging. And so it's really important just to kind of be flexible and and talk and have flow and just be able to have a normal conversation. Remember, these people that are interviewing you want to talk to a human. They understand that you're not perfect, but they also understand, or they also wanna see your authenticity and who you are, okay? So again, tip number seven, Practice your conversational skills. Go out there, talk to strangers, talk to family, talk to the camera, you'll do good. Tip number eight. You wanna ask med students and doctors that you know for help for the mock, to prepare by doing mock interviews. So these are the four things that I did. So the first one is that I emailed a fourth year medical student from Ottawa to help me prepare for my interview. So when I got my interview offer, there's, there was a list of students at the end of the email and it said that these students were willing to answer any of your emails or phone calls about the interview. So I'm like, doesn't hurt to ask. So I picked 10 students, emailed them all saying, hey, I just got an interview invite to the school. I saw your email, can you help me prepare? And out of the 10, four replied, two of them offered to do mock interviews, which were some of the most helpful interviews ever because these students go to the school, they go to Ottawa, they've been through it, they know exactly what the life is like, the, the full experience. And so when I got an interview with them, 
on a Skype call. Um, they helped me prepare adequately. They told me exactly how the lifestyle is, the curriculum, um, all that. And they gave me some good questions to practice. And then I went back on a Skype call with them again within a couple of weeks or days. And we did a full hour long kind of interview. This person would ask me questions, I would answer and then get feedback. Okay, so you could do that too. Not every school I think uh, includes med students emails, but something you could do is ask friends that have gone to that school or friends that know people, go to Facebook, um, creep them out, email admissions, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure about that, double check that one. Uh, so that's one. The second one is uh, you can use an affordable online coaching course or program, whatever it is. There's a whole bunch out there. I did not pay thousands of dollars to be coached. It was a simple one where it was like, I think $60 an hour and a med student from Ottawa helped me prepare. Uh, I found that valuable as well. I'm not going to recommend any because I don't know all of them out there and I got lucky I got a, a good student. So do your research. If you know somebody that has interviewed, has done any of these prep courses with interview companies, ask them their experience and how it was like, because that's how I found out about it. Um, I have a friend who interviewed at Auto before and other schools and he said, hey, I use this prep company and they helped me out. So that's what I did. The third one is um, ask a doctor that you know. So what I did is I asked a doctor from my church to interview me. So he did a mock interview. Um, we booked a time and he asked me some difficult questions. Some of them were the very ethical, moral situations and they were tough, but they're important because if you get asked that on an interview, you want to be ready, you want to be prepared. Okay. In summary, for tip number eight, make sure that you always ask for feedback because it is from the feedback that you will learn the most because you're going to mess up in how you answer and how you, I don't know, tell stories in your composure, body posture. Make sure that you get feedback from these people that are helping you out. That will be gold. Next tip. Tip number nine. This one is extremely practical for you to do today. If you have a phone, if you have a camera, you can do this. You need to practice in front of a camera. The camera is the next best thing in terms of practicing with somebody and doing a mock interview. Uh, because with the camera, you can record yourself, rewatch it, and then give yourself feedback and notice how you made mistakes and how you can improve. I did this, I still have videos of me practicing for the interview. If I find it, I will play it right now. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to answer the question, why University of Ottawa? I'm gonna try and answer this question, why University of Ottawa? So I think it's it's best for me to start from a, a 30,000 foot view and then bring it down and focus it in the actual university. So why medicine? Sure, I can tell you that and that's a really great question. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to answer the question, why do I wanna attend the University of Ottawa? If I don't, then I don't, okay? Um, but use your phone, look at your posture, look at your intonation when you speak, your eye contact with the camera, pretend that there is somebody sitting across from you, just like I am speaking to the camera. Make eye contact, extremely important. Uh, storytelling ability, does your answer flow or does it sound scripted? When I first started out, I was pretty scripted. If somebody asked me, oh, why do you want to go into medicine? It'd be like, because when I was young, blah, 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 whatever, it was pretty scripted. Um, but then over time, the more I said it, the more I tweaked, I was like, mm, I don't want to sound like a robot. So I changed the way I spoke and practiced until I got to the point where I sounded 
authentic and could tell a story and it keep people in, interested in it. And so practice makes better. Perfect practice makes perfect. So make sure you guys are practicing often and you'll feel tired because talking to a camera for long periods of time is exhausting, but it is totally worth it because the payoff is tremendous. Also, when you're rewatching your footage, look for nervous ticks and verbal pauses. Um, if you say mm, like and like, like I just said and a lot, but uh, like, or you're tapping, maybe your posture is a little, a little different, you know? Um, these things you wanna pick up on because on an interview, guaranteed three people sitting in there looking at you they will pick up on it and you're gonna be nervous that's fine they they know that but you want to do your best to eliminate some of these factors that might uh, score negatively against you okay so when you watch for yourself when you watch yourself make sure you're paying attention to those and tip number 10 the last one these are resources so I love resources I ask everybody for help and for resources and I go on Google and I search all these things and I don't want to leave you empty-handed that's why in the description I'm gonna include links that you can check out um, not affiliated with me at all um, but these are links that hopefully will bring you value and help you prepare for your interview or help whoever uh, is you know that is trying to prepare for an interview okay so the first one is medicalschoolhq.net listen dr. Ryan Gray built this media company uh, that basically helps and educates pre-meds in preparing their applications, go, getting into med school in general, interviews, everything, the whole shebang. I'm gonna link his Facebook group in the description, his website. Uh, I met him and I cannot tell you enough how helpful the Facebook group has been, the podcasts, everything I've told you has been, some of it, has been directly from his book. Um, these are things that I applied. And so uh, I give credit to him for some of these tips. And I highly encourage you to go pick up his book on Amazon or your local bookstore. I am not affiliated. I might try to get an affiliate link, but if there's not one down there, then whatever. Um, I believe in what Dr. Ryan Gray is teaching. Um, he's giving it all, a lot of information is for free on this podcast. So check those out, listen to those, get in the Facebook community and message students, search up the chat and you'll learn so much. That's how I did it in his interview book. I don't have the physical copy. I have it on my Kindle app. Uh, there are 575 practice questions that you can go over. These are questions that are going to be extremely helpful for you to practice ahead of time get your answers formulated you won't be able to go through all of them but pick some of the most high yield ones um, that you feel you could be asked or whatever people tell you you could be asked and so it's very important that you verbalize your answers and don't just think about them everything sounds better in our mind so that that last point kind of goes back to the camera um, you could think in your mind the best answer, the best response to any question. But if you don't verbalize it to somebody or a camera, then you won't notice, you won't really know how it's gonna sound. And so get that practice because that is how you're going to, to notice uh, how you can improve. All right, everybody, that is it. Those are the 10 tips that I have. It feels a little bit long-winded, but I wanted to go detailed and dialed in so that you have as much ammunition as possible when you're preparing for your medical school interview. Now listen, you have to implement these tips. I told you everything that I know, everything that I did, and I got in, other students got in, and I'm sure that there's other tips that are helpful, and I'm sure you could just go away with not even doing some of them and still get in. But you wanna cover your basis. Make sure that you practice as much as possible. Make a goal of impl implementing these tips as fast as possible. As soon as you find out that you got an interview, one, congratulations. 
that is amazing. Two, you got to start your work as soon as possible. Um, yeah, so if you really, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe, join the tribe, hit that notification bell for every time I post. Leave a comment down below um, in regards to maybe a question that you have about interviews, a question that you want answered, any tips that you have if you're a med student, you've been through the process, make sure to leave your tips so that other people can gain from your knowledge. All right, guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out the links in the description. I love you and you are wonderful and beautifully made. Stay well, my friends. See you in the next video.